Matityahu, Matthew 23. Then spoke Yahusha to the multitude and to his Talmudim, saying, The scribes and the Parashim sit in Moshe's seat. All therefore whatsoever he bids you guard, that diligently guard and do. But do not ye after their reforms and traditions, for they say and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the seat seat of their garments and love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But... Be not ye called rabbi, for one is your rabbi, even Hamashiach. And all ye are brethren, and call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father, which is in heaven. Neither be ye called teachers, for one is your rabbi, even Hamashiach. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and parashim, hypocrites! For ye shut up at the kingdom of Yahweh against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering in rather, that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and parashim, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and parashim, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, Ye make him twofold more the child of Gehanam than yourselves. Woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifies the gold, and whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing. But whosoever swears by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift, or the altar that sanctifies the gift. Whoso therefore shall swear by the altar, swears by it, and by all things thereon. And whoso shall swear by the temple, swears by it and by him that dwells therein. And he that shall swear by heaven swears by the throne of Yahweh and by him that sits thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and parashim, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and have omitted at the weightier matters of the Torah, judgment, mercy, and belief, these ought ye have, rather, these ought ye to have done, and not to leave at the other undone. Ye blind guides, which straineth at a gnat, and swalloweth a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and parashim, hypocrites! For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. You blind parashi, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and parashim, hypocrites! For ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness.
even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe unto you, scribes and padashim, hypocrites! Because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous and say, If we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers, Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of Gehinnom? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth, from the blood of righteous Havel, rather Havel, unto the blood of Zachariahu, son of Berakyahu, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Amen, I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this nation. O Yerushalayim, Yaru Shalayim, you that kill the prophets and stone them, eth, which are sent unto you. How often would I have gathered your children together, even as a hen gathers her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that comes in the name of Yahweh.